Hello, this is Captain Vaughn and welcome to another video. Today's topic is the Brian de Van, or more simply known as the de Van. The de Van was one of the oldest ships still in service by the time of the Galactic Civil War, and by the time of the Empire's takeover, there was most likely not even one true de Van around, as they were so easy to modify that nearly every single one was, leading to some weird combinations between the de Van and other transports, and even star fighters. In addition the vessel was only still in use for so long, because the parts that the vessel was made up of were so outrageously easy to replace, that every time the vessel broke down, you could just go down to the nearest dump or junkyard and most likely find the part that had malfunctioned, although this often meant that, along with modifications, hardly any of each day van was original. Anyway now to the stats, the day van was about 40 meters long and it was equipped with a navigation computer. In addition the vessel could go at speeds of up to 1000 kilometers per hour, and it was equipped with a class 1 hyperdrive. The Devan was equipped rather with standard armament, for a ship of its size, as it was equipped with four laser cannons. The Devan could be operated by a minimum crew of one, and it required no additional crew members in order to operate effectively. In addition the vessel could carry 11 passengers, 100 metric tons of cargo, and 5 years worth of consumables. The Devan's manufacturer was strangely unknown, and so was its cost. Now to my personal opinion. Overall I believe that this vessel must have been a decent ship if it was in use for so long, so it was probably worth the purchase, unless of course the vessel cost hundreds of thousands of credits, in which case I'd rather have a large freighter or a gunboat of some sort. The vessel was however extremely easy to modify, so even for somewhere around 100,000 credits, it was probably still worth the purchase, since you could really make this vessel one hell of a ship with the help of a couple of mods. Anyway that's all for today and until next time I'm Captain Vaughn and thank you for watching.